There was some um, reports going around this week. There's some theories about why perhaps he hasn't hit the ground running quite as hard this season for Salah. That he might be a little bit too muscular, carrying a little bit too much muscle. I mean, is that a thing in football? Because I remember talking about this to Sylvan this time, and he was told as a player, do not bulk up so much. Now, he is next level in terms yeah, of size, size, of course, much bigger than Salah. But it was consideration for him then, and I'm sure it's a consideration for some players even now. Do you know what, Adam? Here's, here's the funny thing about football. When you're not winning or you're not hitting the yeah. heights that you were, people look at... And if, oh, he, you know, he's, put, he's a bit too muscular now and stuff, it's the same seller. The difference is the levels at Liverpool have just dropped a little bit. That's all. Liverpool will be there or thereabouts come the end of the season. And this is a, 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 a worry for me because Liverpool have to turn it around sometime. And it's only a switch. Once that switch goes, the likes of Mo Salah, he can take a game away from uh, the opposition on his own. Would it surprise you if Liverpool won today? Football doesn't surprise me anymore, no, so to be honest. Anything that's what could I'm happen. Saying, you know, they've won 25, they're undefeated 25 at the last 26 games in the Premier League. The record is there, the players are there, the quality is there. So it wouldn't surprise me to go and see Liverpool win today. And it's like Kev says, when you have a draw and a defeat or a couple of draws at home, things like that, then every start, everybody starts nitpicking on what's going on. He's not good enough. Virtual Van Dijk is, is not good enough. Trent Alexander shouldn't be going to the World Cup. These are, these are serial winners that have won everything in, in, that you can in football. And, and the criticism comes from, you know, say, a couple of bad results, and that's the way football is. Supporters jump on that, the media jump on that. These are still top players, and today no, they can go and win the There's no doubt in that they're top players, but surely at the same time, they're also humans. And th there's a limit to how much the body can take. Absolutely, so, everybody, everybody it, has... has difficult periods in their career. It's not just that, Charlie. It's just the amount of minutes they've played. They, since the start of last season, they've played almost 20 games more than Arsenal have because they played the maximum That's amount last year. That's what happens when you win. That's what happens when you win. So but I think I think the Liverpool players and the Liverpool supporters and Jürgen would rather have their um, fixture congestion than what Arsenal have had. Yes. They're happy with what's going on. Yeah, they've had a little bit of a slump and that's the way it goes, but... What you're seeing there, the, the uh, international and domestic minutes played for Premier League players, the selected outfield players, we can see how many are there. <laughs> yeah, but Mo Salah's captain of, of Egypt, he's, he's, the, he's the, 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 the golden chip, the boy. Oh, yeah. um, Sa Manny was the same, Diaz, the top players, and they're always going to play for, for the national team, and that's part and parcel. It's how you recover and you regroup. But at the same time, I, I just can't look over the fact that they must be tied because Declan Rice came out this week and he said so. Declan Rice came out and said, I think, and was it 68 matches yeah, or 63 De since... Declan Rice has not been used to that. These lads have been used to that for the last three or four seasons. This is, yeah, that, this is probably the only period now that Declan Rice has played 60, 70 games a season. He'll find fatigue. But, but he's as younger. His, he's yeah, younger but than as him. his career goes on for the next five, six years, he'll be used to that. That'll be 70, 60, 70 play games recover, a season. Play, recover, That'll be play, normal recover. for him. It's because this is probably his only real first season playing European football, international football and Premier League football. It's been tough for Declan Rice. And that, he's probably and carried were... West Ham as a team right. on his own more than relatively what Mo Salah and that has done. So it'll balance itself out. And these lads are used to playing these amount of games and, and that's no problem for them. I agree with Charlie. And one, there's another point I want to make. When you hit the level that Liverpool have hit over the last five years, I mean, the consistency of that football club has been absolutely outstanding. They've arguably been the most consistent team over the last five years in world football. Problem is, when you drop one or two percent below that, and a few of the players drop below that, whether it's fatigue, um, coming back from injuries, um, and that's one thing Liverpool have had problems with in the midfield, they've had injuries. You drop a couple of levels down, percentage, all of a sudden you are not the same team just because of the way that they play and the way they press. So I get what you're saying, but you know what? This Liverpool team, they're still... They're, they're, anyone who finishes above them and City virtually win the league. I, I'm not doubting Liverpool's quality and their ability, but the fact is their squad is not as deep as, say, a Manchester City is. It's not. It, yeah, but, and yeah, you're but, playing all but, those but minutes. You think their squad, in well, terms of quality, squad, you, in terms of quality... Well, you look at Man City's squad, 
the kids that are on the bench at the moment for Man City, they've lost a lot of players as they well. They brought on Jack Grealish, who's £100 million pounds yeah. yesterday. Off the bench. Yeah. But Liverpool got Firmino on the bench. They got Fabinho on the bench. They got Jota on the bench, who paid a lot of money for. So the, the, we, we can argue, and it's like Kev said, it all comes down to results. Man City are flying high. Everything's great in Man mm. City. Nobody mentions it. Cole Palmer comes on yesterday. Uh, Lewis comes on yesterday. The other young lad, 17 year old yeah. kid, comes that's on. That's what I'm saying. The, so that's all right because they're winning 4 0. But that's the way it goes. Harvey Elliott, young kid, still learning the game. Carvalho is a young kid, but they've got potential. So it, it's just when everything's not going as well as you think it is, then everybody nitpicks on what was going on in your squad. Oh, the squad's no depth. We're playing too many games. He's struggling. Mo Salah looks too heavy. But and why does Klopp complain about the fixture congestion? Because that's a manager, that's what they all do. All <laughs> managers complain. Jurgen, Jurgen will complain, Pep will complain. That's yeah. why Pep at the moment can afford to take Kevin De Bruyne off with 20 minutes to go because they're winning so easily. You know, all the top players can come off and have a rest. Yeah. It's, it's what happens when you're at a top club. You have to compete. You, you want to be in the, the, the last stage of these competitions. And if you don't moan, and then you moan further down the line, they said, well, you never said it then. Yeah. So you've got to keep... These guys, listen, let me tell you something, these are smart psychologically. OK.